Immortals. I am Jensen and welcome to Undertale Yellow. Let me bring it up just over here. There is a thing that we did recently where everybody took a vote on the game that they wanted to play. And sorry, they wanted to play with me. And as it turns out, it was Undertale Yellow by a huge margin. 84%. My God, that is enormous. Let me actually get myself out of the way as well so you guys can see. Look at this. 84% of everybody voted for Undertale Yellow. That is insane. That is actually a huge number of people. Of 51 votes as well. I can't believe it outperformed Squirrel with a gun. That was what, that's the one I thought was going to win. Anyway, uh, it took me a little bit of time to get this compatible with my DualSense 5 controller, which I insist on using because I really like the PlayStation controllers and the feel of them. So I am going to be firing up the game through Steam so that Steam recognizes my controller as a Steam controller. And we're going to see what happens. Now I'm also going to go into the retro resolution because it looks better. For years, monsters have been sealed away by a powerful spell. Allegedly! Allegedly! My game theory for Undertale is coming out pretty soon. Allegedly, they were sealed away by a powerful spell by humans. Sorry. A spell that could only be broken with seven human souls. Allegedly! <laughs> Allegedly! I usually get the Undertale fan games from G Game Jolt. Yeah, this is on Game Jolt. Their king was peaceful and wished to avoid any more conflict. Yo, correct! And thus he lied to everybody about the amount of souls required to break the barrier. But eventually declared that any human who fell would die. A grisly and painful death at the hands of Metaton, whose sole purpose was to harvest human souls from their corpses. Mount Ebbet! Few humans have braved this mountain. Want to free them all? Nice. Those who did were never seen again. Dun dun dun! So I don't know who this is supposed to be. Do they even have a name? They're looking at the hole. I think they're armed with like a, a, a cattle prod or a taser of some sort. All right, here we go again. Oh, jumps in the hole, why not? Hold the hat, the pixel art is already so much better than Undertale's. I would actually kind of agree with you on this one, but that is the benefit of retrospect, which uh, Toby Fox does not have since he released the first version of Undertale. So apparently this is supposed to be the second last human that fell into the hole. I kind of know a little bit of backstory about the game. And that is supposed to be the yellow soul. Nice. Um, yes, yeah, so I am going to tell everybody I am launching this through Steam. I did have to download it on Game Jolt, which you guys can play for free. I'll link it in the description of the video when this goes up as a VOD. Anyone can play this for free. It is a free game and it's not as long as Undertale. It also works with a controller if you run it through Steam. So, you know, uh, great benefit. Let's hit begin game. Let's see what this game's all about. I did also change the controls before I started streaming. Blow me away. Oh my god, it's already so much different. Do you guys understand the lore connotations of, of this right here? Oh my god. Actually, if anybody could tell me whether or not Toby Fox actually, like, made this honorary canon or not, or if it's just a fan game, that would be really helpful for me. Crap, I haven't finished the game yet. That's okay, cool kid. It's only a couple of hours long. Uh, I'm going to be trying for the neutral run, and then we'll go pacifist, and then we'll go genocide potentially, right? Because that was the same route we took in uh, Undertale. Frog it! Hopped close. Uh, let's try and fight it. We'll kill this first one. Oh, we've got guns! Nice, finally. Who's this mad cow? <laughs> the mysterious goat lady scared the frog it away. What could her name be? Ah, hello. Are you alright? You must be wondering what is going on. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through here every day to see if anyone has fallen down. It does not happen often. You are the first to come here in a long time. Do not be afraid, little one. I will do my best to protect you here. Come, I shall guide you through your new home. Okay, we're gonna go follow Goat Mother up north. He said it was canon and Twitter, but I doubt he was serious. Okay, I'll have to look it up myself then in between the, uh, in between the playthroughs. I'm gonna go up this route here. We're gonna take the opposite route as Toriel, because I think she's lying. The ruins are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. They must be solved in order to move from room to room. Allow me to demonstrate. Whoa! Look at this technology! I'm just a simple cowboy cattle ranger. We are free to proceed now. Follow me, my child. There are more puzzles ahead. Now, will she act all motherly towards us initially? In this room, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry. I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Okay, we'll come on through here. Oh, I bet this is one of the ones. Okay, done. Splendid! I am proud of you, my child. 
She never said splendid in the base game. And this one. Oh no, my child. That is the wrong switch. I have labeled the one you need to flip. Oh no, my child. That is the wrong switch. I have labeled the one you need to flip. Third time's the charm. Oh no, my child. That is the wrong switch. Why do I need confirmation from Toriel to hit the switch? What, am I too far away from? Yes, I was. Okay. It should have opened by now. I am sure I labeled the correct lever. Ah, do not worry, little one. Try flipping the other switch. Oh no! I've fallen into the butthole of the world. My child, are you all right? I've broken my ankles! Oh dear, I am afraid I cannot reach you. I must leave for a moment. You will stay there, will you not? Do not wonder, many monsters are unfriendly towards humans. Fret not, my child, I will protect you. Please, wait there. We fall into oblivion. You can run, press X while you're walking. Ah, yes, there is also an auto run feature that I'm pretty sure I'm about to enable as soon as I get access. Under jail, yellow. Dun, 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 dun. What is that, is that paper? Did that paper just fall into the void? Here we are. Okay, let's go into the menu. We can't go into the menu. Oh, well, what's down here? Nothing. Uh, what's down here? Screw that. We're going this way. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. What about this hole in the wall? Nope, can't go in there either. Okay, let's go up this little path here. Oh, worms. There's worms everywhere. Or snails. Maybe this is Toriel's snail farm. That is a cool image right there. I'm going to take a screenshot of that. Good. It looks like a little face in the wall. Howdy. I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. Hmm. You look confused. Toriel ought to have taught you how things work around here. She didn't? I guess little old me will have to do then. Ready? Here we go. See that heart? That is your soul. The very culmination of your being. Your level represents your love. It's... I'm sure you won't have to worry about that. In the underground, monsters may try to attack you. If you see bullets like these, you need to avoid them at all costs. Try dodging my bullets now. Here they come. Sorry about that. Let's try again. Here they come. Dodge them all. <laughs> what are you doing? Dodge the bullets. Don't mess it up this time. Oh, damn it, so close. You sicko! Are you doing this on purpose? Fine, I'll just stop sending them then. Since you're so bad at dodging bullets, I can save your progress for you. That means if something bad happens, I can make it unhappen for you. You probably want to go home, don't you? Well, you've got a long journey ahead. If you ever need to save, come look for me. I'll leave these little things around for you. Uh, thanks, Flowey. That way it's easy to find me. If you see one, don't hesitate to call me. And then I'll save for you, like I just saved for you now. There's one more thing. The king of all the monsters, Asgore, he's been killing humans. The only way out is killing him and, well, you're pretty small. That doesn't matter too much though. What matters is you've got me on your side. I'll let you get going, but please be careful. There's all sorts of dangerous traps down here. And some of the monsters in this place, I hear they don't like visitors, so good luck. All right. Howdy. Looks like you got it then. Okay, we'll do a save right here. I don't know what kind of soul we have. The paper was the missing person advice Clover was holding in the intro. Who the hell is Clover? Who's Clover? Who's Clover? I demand. I demand answers. What's behind this pillar? A button? A lever? Nothing. What about this pillar? What's behind here? Nothing. Okay, what about this one? Nothing. All right, how about this one? Nothing. Okay, how about this one? Nothing. Nothing at all. What about this? Nothing. Anything behind this one? Nothing. This is an S. There's a little S shape in the, in the wall right there. That's kind of weird. Or a five. What about this one? Nothing. There's a missing brick here. Okay, none of this is useful to us. Okay. Oh no! Okay, a flyer is giving a fighting a try. Well, worst time to start fighting, flyer, my dude. So this is how it ends. Ah! 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 Oh, wow, this is a long attack sequence. Flyer is reconsidering his life choices. Where he's, I'm about to reconsider his life. Boom. Crap. Shot him right through the brain. You won. You earned two experience and two gold. What about love? What about the love? 
Uh, I can't use that one. I can't use that one. I can use that one. What about this one? Yep, okay. And then this one. Da -da 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 -da! It's a sign. It says exposition in large friendly letters. <laughs> Thank you, game, for the exposition. Clover is the child you play as? Nah, Cap. I call Cap. What does this do? I don't know. I'm gonna hit it anyway. What are these boxes? Oh, it's one of these puzzles. Okay, sure. Um, ends first. There, done. Or not. How about this one and then these ends here? Da -da 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 -da! What does this say? Make what is dim bright. Make what is dark light. Okay, I think it's hinting at us to do a pacifist run. Is this a hole in the floor? No, can't go through there. Okay, we'll keep on going through. This obviously looks like a trap. I'm gonna go into it anyway. Private property, no trespassing. Or maybe it's not a trap. Okie dokie. There is a bed of flowers over here. Ah, there's some guy look like a, he's look, he looks like a penis with horns right at the tip. Hello. I'm happy to finally meet you face to face. How long has it been? I was wondering if you'd ever come back. No. Too forward. Who am I kidding? I'll never be able to meet you in this state. I just hope you know I had no choice. It must be this way. It's kind of dramatic, don't we think? What do you mean, Cap? It's just factual, their name? Cap? Huh? Who? I, I must be saying things. He was probably expecting Kara, right? Because no one ever collected her soul. Also, game theory coming soon. <laughs> it's not immediately obvious. Ooh, I like the sounds. I, I like the music. Who's this? This is Penilla. I don't really want to kill Penilla. We could probably just spear them. Or we could try flee. To be or not to be. <laughs> uh, it's the pencil. Ah! 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 It's like that game where you got to divide the board in half until you uh, box everyone in. But at the same time, it's not um, it's not us doing the game. Okay, uh, we'll do a flee. We escape. Excellent. That's what I like to see. I'm going to do a save at the star right here. Howdy. Azir is still in one piece. You saw that weirdo, right? If you want to get out of here, you'll have to go through him. He shouldn't be a problem, though. And if he is, that's why I'm here. Okay. We're going to use Flowey to kill whatever that thing was. Do we get a weapon in here? Lemonade. According to the price list, it's a lemonade stand. Five gold a glass. Take some? I'm going to take some. You pour yourself a glass, but there is no attendant to take your money. What poor service. Leave a tip? No. <laughs> okay, we've just stolen. We've just stolen. Make cheese out of those monsters? Uh, we probably don't have to make cheese per se. Sweet corn hops up excitedly. Okay. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna glack it right in the face. Bang, I'm making popcorn. I feel hurt. Ah, too difficult. This is basically a gimme, right? Okay, let's kill every, like, second monster, I think. Bang, bang, into your face! Bang, bang, ending your race! Okay, I'm gonna go this way. I'm going, I'm now the children of the corn. I don't see any levers anywhere. Are they hidden, maybe? Who knows? Penilla seems to be dreading this battle. Uh, I'm gonna shoot the flyer right in the, right in his face right there. Bang! Okay, that didn't kill him in one hit. Just gotta keep it cool. Ah! Ah! Damn it! We took our first hit. Our first intentional hit. Oh, that was a little bit rough. Flyer is reconsidering his life choices. Okay, I'm gonna kill Flyer because we probably need the money. Bang! Right in the face. I wanted him gone, but not that way. Okay, I have just done Penilla a favor. Oh, we're boxed into this corner here. Ah, well. I'll just use iframes to get out of there. All right, good. Penilla frantically scraps her Flyer sketch. Okay, we're fleeing. We're only going to kill half of the enemies because we want a nice neutral run first. Ah, there is a lever right here. Boom. Nice. I hit the lever. That should open the area up for when we want to come back. Friends, do not fear the unknown. Sometimes they're nice. Yeah, I feel like that's a commentary on xenophobia just in general, right? Okay. Is it wrong to hold doubt in my actions? Oops, I said the wrong voice. I enjoyed life before. I did, but I can't go back. What happened that day would only repeat. Ah! What is this? Why do they appear every time I start monologuing? I need more rest. Undertale Yellow? Yes, Connor Carlson, we are finally playing it. 
You missed an item in the last room? Okay, I'll hit this lever. In all the left? Okay, I'll go back to the left. You can already feel the cavity. Cavities of corn. Oh, sweet corn. Right. Okay, that's a processed item. So, okay. Let's go ahead and uh, give it a lick. All you can taste is sugar. That's not good. Whatever makes you happy. I licked it. I licked the corn. But. But. Okay. Not so bad. Your ears are ringing from the chatter. Okay, we still got to, like, gift it, maybe? You can't think of a suitable gift. It's the thought that counts. Yeah, I know it's the thought that counts. Oh, my God. We've got homing corn. <laughs> this is virtually impossible to lose, though. Sweetcorn jumps up and down in celebration. Uh, what about a hug? You give Sweetcorn a big hug. She briefly gets stuck to your shirt. Yuck. Oh, uh, we took one. We took two. Great. Yep. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, good. Sweetcorn is smiling contentedly. Okay, we gotta hug them both. You give Sweetcorn a big hug. She briefly gets stuck to your shirt. I'm feeling the love. Yes, sir, you are. Feel my love. Feel my love, corn. Feel the love I have for agriculture. Okay, good. We're gonna mercy them both. Done. We got nothing, but we got four bucks. They paid us not to kill them. I think it's candy corn in reality. Then why are they growing out of the ground? <laughs> that is literally contradictory to what we are seeing in game. Okay, I'm gonna go all the way left, okay? We're gonna solve this puzzle. We're gonna go all the way this way. And then we... Okay, we're fighting something. Uh, Penilla encounters you. Sweetcorn comes out of nowhere acting excited. We're off. <laughs> we're gapping it. We're getting the hell out of there. Okay. So if I go all the way back, I probably didn't need to go through the maze to get all, th all the way through here. We'll just go around. The design of the characters would say it's candy corn. But there's, there's stalks growing out of the ground. That's the thing. So how can they be candy? Unless candy literally grows out of the ground. I feel bad for taking the candy now when we played as uh, Frisk. Because now I realize that was actually a living creature and we probably just ate them. Uh, let's try run. Good, we fled. Excellent. Makes sense? Does it? <laughs> it doesn't make a hell of a lot of sense to me. I suppose it's a world of magic. Ooh, what's this? Is this poo? A little pile of conveniently bullet-shaped pebbles. Take them. Done. Obtain pebbles. Okay, we're taking the bullet pebbles. Are they an item that we use? Probably right. You load the pebbles into your gun. It feels a little heavier now. Great. What were we shooting last time? Were we just smack... Were we just pistol whipping all of those enemies to death? Literally just going right up to them, beating them to death with our, with our iron, our wrist iron? Because this franchise cared about realism before? Absolutely. Okay. Penilla draws now. We're going to flee. We don't want to engage with... Oh, there's a bit of candy corn over there. I see, do we see the candy corn? I'm going to go over to the candy corn and we're going to try shoot it to death. Maybe. It's a rejected piece of corn. Take it? Yes. Obtain candy corn. Okay, so that's a piece of candy corn. We don't necessarily know that it's sentient though, so it still doesn't really confirm whether or not we're fighting corn or candy corn. Flee. Because technically corn is, is alive. It's, it's one of those things that satisfies the... Um, the categories of, of life that, that make it a, a living entity, right? Mercy, flee. This thing's a slow as hell. I just want to crutch they are slow. We need to do a save as well. We have almost no health. We could probably eat that little bit of corn. Okay, uh, we can't go that way. Using your eye? Which one? The left one or the right one? Is that an item? We don't, we don't have an eye. Rubber ammo? What the hell? Oh, that's right, the spikes. Would say candy corn is what the design is based on. I would fully disagree, honestly. I think it's actual corn, given the fact that it's growing out of the ground. Like, y you don't grow candy corn out of the ground. If anything, candy corn is actually a sugar cane. And then that's processed into a candy with artificial sweeteners and artificial colours. And if it's artificial, it's not alive, so there you go. Just using the basic laws of biology. Uh, we want to kill all the flyers. Whoops, I missed. That's a shame. I found this great new band the other day. Oh yeah? What are they called? A day to remember? Did you just hear Bloodsucker for the first time? Because it slaps. Okay. Bang! I think that was a crit. Whoa! We dealt poison damage. We got two experience and two goldery goos. Nice. We get some more buckery boos as well if we can't really do it. What the hell is that? Is that a cat? The Rorum encounters you! Oh no! I'm not dealing with that. I'm gone. There's no way in hell I'm dealing with a mirror. Okay. Do I have to interact with this? What is this? There appears to be a drawing of a cat scribbled on it. Does this make it a caterpillar? 
I don't think you have enough understanding of creative design. Yeah, I've I've only been a I've only been a musician and artist for about 20 years or so. What the hell would I know? Howdy! Golly, this place sure is dead! All the monsters are all quiet and lurking. That's not like monsters at all. Don't let this ruin your impression of underground. We'll leave this dump behind soon enough. Okay, good. We'll leave this dump behind. Flowey seems to really hate being here, and I don't blame him. It's disgusting! And gross! It's getting darker. We're, we're actually getting into a darker area. I can't see Dick Diddley. Uh... Hey, thing. What are you, a marmot? A marbot? What is that thing? What is on its chest? Why is it melting? Desipat makes his presence known. Okay. Kill more monsters and get stronger? Absolutely not. There's no, there's no reason to kill anything. Maybe... Maybe we act. Maybe we watch it. Let's watch it. You watch Desipat in silence. It seems to appreciate it. Okay. Don't move. Don't make a sound. Hush, hush. Well, that was hard. Desipat looks slightly more at ease. Okay. We're going to go ahead and watch it more. It loves it. He seems to appreciate it. Good. Move in silence. Hush, hush. Whoa! Okay, we're moving. Good. Despat gives you a nod of approval. Why? You watch Despat in silence. He seems to appreciate it. More quiet, please. Oh, damn it. He just railed me with that last one there. Nice. Okay, Despat is enjoying the silence. Let's watch it some more. You watch Despat in silence. He seems to appreciate it. You hear that? No? Good. Oh, damn it. I didn't realize it was... Ah, oh, poos. We could probably just avoid this, right? Desipat is being lulled to sleep. Okay, we'll watch it some more. You watch Desipat in silence. He seems to appreciate it. Sweet silence. Sweet, sweet silence. Yas, queen. Desipat is ready to return to sleep. Mercy. We did a mercy. How would that work? What, uh, just like not moving or killing more monsters to get stronger? That is, I, I think that... I think killing more monsters to get stronger is probably actually the very basic foundations of an RPG game, which we are currently playing, so that, that's probably how that would work. I declare you an honorary sentinel of silence. I trust you to keep peace and order here. I shall go conquer new lands in the name of quiet. This is a very high honor, so give it hush hush. Well, he had an awful voice. No, you said you got railed? How would that work? Uh, we took lots and lots of damage. I'm pretty sure that's what getting railed is, right? Because I know it's like one of those coitus things. If you do a coitus, then someone's getting damaged. Inherently, that is how coitus works. Howdy! You seem to be doing well. You haven't even died once. Not that I thought you would, but it's nice to be prepared. Okay, good. 20 minutes into the game, we've already busted through that e the entire area. Crispy Scroll is looking for someone to talk to. Uh, I'm gonna kill it. I don't want to talk to this Crispy Scroll. Die, Crispy Scroll. This isn't even my final form. Oh my god. Oh, it's not that bad, actually. We gotta bait it around, it seems. Crispy Scroll is asking if he can get a picture with you. Sure, let me get the flash camera out. Bang! Finger guns. Live a hero, die a hero. When did you live a hero? I don't think this guy lived a hero whatsoever. I'm also gonna go back and I'm going to save right after this. Bang! He's got a lot of health. Yep, well, not anymore. You earned five experience and two gold. Your love increased. I love to see it. I love to see it. Let's go back and save because we lost a lot of our HP learning that fight. He's your biggest fan, how could you? Um, pretty easily, actually. I had this gun. Guns make it really easily to take the life of somebody, especially someone you don't know. Just look at, say, um, American politics. Oh, this one's easy. I've done this before. Uh, good, and this one's short. And then we want to hit this one. And then this one. Don't know how that worked, to be quite honest. I'm pretty sure that wasn't supposed to work as the way I did it. Uh, we've got a cage here. You jostle the gate. It doesn't budge. Ah, huh. okay. So next question, what's behind that gate? Did that help? Oh, that was probably a reset switch, right? You can already feel the cavities. No, we can't. We're leaving. We are not getting into the cavities. I understand the gravity. 
We jostled the gate. Excellent. All right, let's go this way. What is through here? There is a thing against the wall right here. It looks like a tarp. It was a tarp. Can we go anywhere else? Nay. Well, that was hard to find. Okay, we'll come through here. What does it say? I seem to recall what I once saw so often. What I remembered. It seemed it is now forgotten. So then, never mind, I guess. All right, thank you, signs, for that worthless exposition. Is there another sign? No, but there is a diverging path here. What is this? It's a stray feather. Take it. Yes. You got a stray feather. Boss, let's put it in our hat. Can we put this in our hat? You stick the feather into your hat. Oh, yeah, baby. It gives you a proud feeling. It's not actually in our hat, though. It'd be nice if we could kind of like, oh, there's a two there. I should probably start writing these down, right? So there was a five. There was a two. Hold up. Hold up. Five, two. I'm going to write down all of these numbers. It's probably a code. It's probably a code to like some kind of um, creator thing on love or or maybe even rabbit. Okay, there's that bat again. Can we just go the other way? There was another way. I'm not sure if we can actually go this way though. It's blocked off. You notice a dark path beyond the rocks, but you can't squeeze past them. Okay, looks like we're gonna have to go do some cardio. Lose some of this extra weight that's keeping us from squeezing between those racks like Ted Bundy did when he was in prison. You know Ted Bundy, he crawled through the air vents. He spent like three months becoming emaciated. Then he crawled through the air vents at the local court when he was on trial and he escaped just by jumping off the, the platform. What is your definition of evil? Mm -hmm. Uh, if it makes you feel bad for doing it, that's probably not good, right? I'd probably put that close to evil. So if you, if you do something and you feel bad for it, that's probably evil. If you do something bad and you don't feel bad for it, probably a psychopath, sociopath, or narcissist. One of those three. Ah! Uh -huh. Um... I don't know who you are, but I ask you, please leave! Okay, penis man with horns. I don't know who the penis man with horns is supposed to be. We can try and chase him. There's a few paths that we could actually go. Who's this? There's corn on the cobweb. <laughs> oh my god, do people just make fan games of Undertale just to put in dad, dad jokes? Just gotta deal with that downer. Then you're out of the ruins. See you on the other side, pal. Okay, I wonder who the downer is gonna be. It's probably, his name is probably Deborah. I say his because I've given him a masculine voice. What's this? There's corn dog hiding amongst the corn cobs. Take it? Yes? Obtain corn dog. Nice. That is another pun I just realized. A pile of crates all containing corn. You're getting tired of the stuff. Why did I take the last one then? A pile of crates all containing corn. You're still getting tired of the stuff. So, it seems like they're farming this living corn and then they're murdering it, right? Don't step on the flowers. No, uh, you can't stop me! You can't stop me! You're just an inanimate object sign. You can't stop me from stepping on these flowers. I have a gun. <laughs> okay, we're on the other side of that bridge, it seems. Hey, step on the flowers! Oh! Ooh, what are you gonna do about it, sign? Oh! What an asshole. Look at this guy. He's telling me to do things and he can't even enforce it. What a dick. Hey, I'm stepping on the flowers. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Nothing. Nothing happens. All right. What a dick. Whatever dick you wrote that didn't work. The water looks refreshingly unclean. I thought <laughs> I thought it was a giant laser beam for a second. The horned stranger runs away because he mistook you for the blue soul human who attacked him in the past. Oh, uh, where do we see that in the game? Because uh, I've never seen any confirmation of that in the lore whatsoever. Also, hello there, Spamton. Wrong game. Uh, right, okay, so we've opened up the bar door. Well, someone opened up the bar door. Probably that guy with the, uh, with the robe, right? Oh! Oh! There's a one right here! Would you look at that, everybody? There is a one. Write that one down. Look! Look right here! There is a one! There's a one on the wall there. Nice. Okay, good. My theory crafting brain is firing all of its brain cells. Both of them are working overtime. Where's music on? Why do I get the feeling like I'm in some kind of sailor's prison? Mm -hmm. You're still following me? I thought I made it clear that I want to be left alone. I don't understand. You, you look just like them. Is this some sort of haunting? Or have you come to finish the job? Retreating here wasn't enough, so you hunted me down. Right? Huh? 
Brother what? And I was just starting to accept my reality. The cruelty. Whatever I did to you that day was not my intention. I was only... Never mind. Words aren't enough. I... I don't want to fight anybody, but you've invaded my home! The exit is blocked and you can't stay here. I will not allow it. Only one thing to do! That name is... The, the, the voice is so off for this guy now that I see his face. Delve musters his fighting spirit. Uh, Delve, Vlad, Vlad! Okay, he's a vampire, gotcha, it's another acronym. Gotcha, oh, uh, let's, do we kill him? No, let's not kill him, let's spear him. Let's give him a handshake. Delve doesn't notice your offer of goodwill. I don't suppose you can leave the way you entered, could you? That would be easier for both of us. Ah! Well, should have seen that one coming. Oh, I love how the background actually changes when he fires those off. Delve seems to be dreading his next attack. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and give him a talk. Delph does not seem to value communication. Where did you come from anyway? There aren't many accessible entrances. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, move in circles. Circles does not work. Delph assumes an intimidating facade. Okay, let's go ahead and check him. Delph, attack six, defense four, wants to be left alone. All right, all I know is that somehow you found me. Sorry to make things difficult, but I'm not cowering away this time. Oh, hey! that is a Delta Rune attack. We got really, really good at that. That's a Jevil attack right there. This music goes insanely hard. I think, you know what it needs? I think it needs like some deathcore drums in the background. Just kicks going as fast as they possibly can. That's all it needs. And, and one cowbell tapped every four bars. That's all it needs. Del takes a break to brush off his cloak. All right, we're gonna go ahead and mercy him, Spear. The other monsters, did you pester them as well? Not that I care much to keep up with their activity. Ah! No! Ah! Okay, good. Del takes a break to brush off his cloak. Let's eat the candy corn. You eat the candy corn. You now know why it was discarded. You recovered 9 HP. <laughs> Because it tasted like ass. Probably because someone put it in their ass. This region of the ruins is my home, and my home has rules. The residents understand that. Oh, piss off, seriously. No! Okay, we got one health. We're gonna need to heal again. Oh! Oh, that was so close. We almost lost it. Delph seems to be in conflict with his more humane side. He doesn't have one. Lemonade, please. You drink the lemonade. It's very sour. You recovered 7 HP. But it seems as if you never got the memo! That or you're purposefully ignoring my wishes. Oh no. Ah! Oh, he's Thor as well as a vampire. That's uncomfortable. Ah! Delph seems to be in conflict with his more humane side. All right, mercy time. But what's with that sad face? Don't you understand? Don't you remember me? Well, no, well, oh, piss off, seriously. Why is it so strong? What, the lemonade? Probably because it was made from actual lemons. Blah, 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 what a whiner. Let's hurry up and deal with this recluse. Okay, I'm gonna hit retry. I also enabled that setting before I started streaming. Delp musters his fighting spirit again. I'm just gonna spare him. I don't suppose you can leave the way you entered, could you? That would be easier for both of us. Okay, here we go. Thunder time. I love how it actually affects the game world. That is so cool. Mercy, where did you come from anyway? There aren't any accessible entrances. Uh, what about the gigantic hole? Piss off. I should have seen that one coming, honestly. Okay, Delph seems to be in conflict with his more human side. All I know is that somehow you've found me. Sorry to make things difficult, but I'm not cowering away this time. Okay, this is significantly easier than the, the one with Jevil. That is such an easy sequence. Okay, we'll spare him again. The other monsters, did you pierce them as well? Uh, no, I killed a couple of them. Okay, good. Whoa. Okay. It's it's kind of like the Stardew Valley fishing mechanic right here. Or every other fishing mechanic in every other game known to man. This region of the ruins is my home. Not for long, my dude. I'm going to bomb this place to the ground. Okay, we got to get in this corner here. Nice. And now we go to the other corner. It's like a, one of those DVD idling screens, right? Whoa. 
Okay, Delve seems to be dreading his next attack. I care not. I care not. Delve is just a silly little guy. Good, we won't kill him then. Okay, good. That or you're purposefully ignoring my wishes. Oh no! What vampire can command thunder? I don't remember any Strigoi that can command the laws of thunder in any kind of mythology. Is he Turkish? Okay, he's got an, an intimidating facade. What's with that sad face? Don't you understand? Don't you remember me? Oh, that was close. <laughs> I love how that affects the game world. That is so cool. I know you aren't a phantom, but could it be that? No, it isn't possible. It is not possible. Impossible. Okay, diagonal seems to wear the go. You, you look so helpless. Different. But is it a front? What are you holding? Is that a gun? <laughs> Del takes a break to brush off his coat, I think. No, you aren't trying to hurt me. You, you aren't who I believed you to be, are you? How could I be so foolish? I apologize, I truly do. This got out of hand. I, I don't know how I can make things right now. Del looks unsure of what to do. I spear him. Now we can act, right? Let's give him a, a good talking to. It appears Delve is too focused to hear you. Okay, what if we just handshake him? What if we shake his hands around? Bro has Zeus on his side? He does, doesn't he? Delve accepts your offer of goodwill. You want me to shake your hand! Even after I wrongfully attacked you. But that is a sign of friendship. You're a human, right? Is it the same where you come from? I'm not sure. I didn't ever expect to meet another human, let alone befriend them. Don't get me wrong. I'd love to have a friend. I mean, I think. I don't really remember what that entails. I guess I'll give it a shot if you will. Okay, we can spear him. I think we just farted on his coat. I bet he likes that, though. What do friends do, actually? Do you want to, uh, see my house or something? I have to go there anyway, so I guess stop by if you have time. What a crazy character. I like him. Yeah, crazy. That's exactly right. Oh, this is his house. I have to, uh, fix something in the other room. Sit down, get comfortable, take your shoes off. Actually, please leave them on. The floors are a bit dirty. I haven't swept since this morning. My dude, I haven't swept my house ever. It's not even my house. I'm renting it. Oh, he's coming back. What's he got? All right. I know you're probably eager to get going, but feel free to stay as long as you like. Uh, all right, let's poke around in his things. What is this? You like those? Those are my projects. I sometimes try to write books, like for kids and stuff. The table is covered in colorful pencils and pages strewn about with cute pictures. I sometimes kind of forget what colors things are outside this place, so I just try to make them up. I think the kids will find it more interesting like that anyway. It might not be as educational though. I saw a nice coloring book as a meme a couple of days ago. It was a Star Wars coloring book, and all there was in there was just stormtroopers. So it was like the worst coloring book known to man, because everything's just black and white in real life anyway. Spooky arm music? It's a little bit spooky, isn't it? I don't exactly have a huge selection of food. I don't get out much. Oh wait, I have some leftovers you can take with me. I hope you like it. I made it for my birthday. Sponge cake is my favorite. It's a sponge covered in frosting. Take it? Yeah. You got the sponge cake. Sorry I didn't invite you, it was last week. You can come next year. I won't be here, my dude. A small table for once sits in the, oh no. You can't help but notice it's fine craftsmanship. It's an intimidating looking wardrobe. Open it, yes. There's a balloon floating slowly inside. It has a cute little happy face drawn on it. Hey, um, would you mind giving Pops his space? He likes the dark. You wave goodbye to Pops before closing the door again. All right, what about this pot right here? It's a flower pot full of dirt. That's my turnip plant. He should be sprouting up any day now. He's really taking his time, but I don't rush him. Ah, uh, he'll turn up. It's a little table with a built-in drawer. It seems to be locked. 
All right, what's up here? Are you ready to leave? Leave Delve's house? No. All right, take as long as you like. I'm going into your bedroom. What's in here? Ah, you've got a corn painting. Nice. Someone made that for me a while back. It's a single corn from the cornfield out in the ruins. I started that field from one piece of corn. Before I closed off the door to Snowden, something happened. I kept finding corn sitting on my doorstep. Every morning it was just there. I didn't know who was leaving it, but somehow I thought they were my friend. I always wanted to repay that guy in deeds, but I never could think of anything to leave in return. And one day they just stopped showing up. That's when I decided to hide away, but I planted the last cup of corn I had down here. It's taken to the environment surprisingly well. I always found it rather inspiring. Okay. Any day? What do you mean, any day? We're gonna go and ransack this guy's house first. And uh, before I get to that, I'm actually just really quickly gonna ask Yinset to... Why? to uh, bring me a little glass of water because I know that if I do it myself, I'll probably just do it myself actually. Okay, I will be right back everybody. I will literally only be a few seconds, don't worry. I'll, I'll return, okay? I just need a glass of water because I'm blowing out my voice with this goddamn voice hat. It'll sprout any day now. That's the spirit. That turn will get puberty. I am back. Ooh. Okay, where were we? We were just uh, ransacking this vampire's house, right? This this vampire with some uh, real weird powers. I think that was where we were at. Ah, good. Rule number one of voice uh, acting is don't break the goods. Okay. There's a broom over here. Oops, let's click on the actual game. What is this broom for? What is it for? Be careful with that. That broom has been like my best friend. I never thought he'd be replaced by a real friend. Well, he hasn't been. I'm not, I'm not your friend, buddy. I'm not your buddy, pal. Let's look at something else, okay? No. Mm, I'm going in. Let me in! Come on, man! It was six seconds away from a minute. Break the broom. Can you break the broom? Can you actually break the broom? You can't break the broom. You won't break that broom right now? Okay, we'll break it later. How does that sound? We'll come back here and we'll destroy all of his possessions. We'll actually ransack his house. Maybe we'll get his turnip as well. Are you ready to leave? Yes, I am. If that's what you want, I'll lead the way. Okay, where are you taking me, my dude? My dizzle? My dingle dangle? My wanker? Well, here we are. Thank you for everything. You have really helped me out. Because of this, I'm going to be more friendly. I'm going to be the mentor I always should have been. Penilla and I will draw together. Rorin could spice up my raw wardrobe. Pretty sure we killed him. And Crispy Scroll can show me that anime thing I thought of leaving. But why leave when I have a great family right here? Uh, we definitely killed one of his members of his family. Even people who aren't Toby Fox are able to cook with music like this, Haunted House type beat. It's pretty easy. It's basically just like high, it's high chiptune. It's chiptune with a higher fidelity. It's very easy to do as long as you can actually play keyboard. Plus, I've really let the place go. A week of non-stop cleaning is in order. And people, when they write uh, chiptune music, they generally don't write it for any longer than like um, 30 seconds or so. You killed two of us, could be friends. Perfect. You'll think that they just abandoned him. That's not our problem. Well. I should get you out of here. Oh, it seems the exit is blocked off. Let's see. All right, he's chewed it off, I think. There we go. You're all set. Oh, before I forget, I never asked for your name. Mind informing me? Oh, apparently it's Clover. Sea Lover, what a nice name. Well, Sea Lover, you should get going. Goodbye, friend. 
Okay, so I think that the pacifist run is supposed to also be canon in this. It's supposed to be also the intended ending for Undertale, right? So that we are kind of like lover and the sea is just extra. This is not my problem. It's not my problem. It's not my problem that he's lost a couple of friends. Come on, man. Don't dump your trauma on me. Sure, I killed them, but, you know, say la vie. All right, we're in the woods. Are we going to meet Sans? Are we actually going to meet Sans? God, this Undertale theory I'm working on is so big and comprehensive, and I can't be... I can't help but be reminded of it over and over again. I'll give everyone another little spoiler, right? Sans and Gaster were dear friends, best friends, until Gaster died. That's essentially what the uh, theory is going to be centred around, is essentially what happens after Gaster died. Because he never came back, he's not Mystery Man, and none of that actually works out. I've done all, I've seen all the evidence, I've compared it all, and it, it, it's all wrong. Everybody's um, misattributing all of the evidence to Gaster and stuff like that. Liked and subscribed, I'm gonna be back later though, I'm getting pizza right now. All right, Spampton, you enjoy your pizza. Howdy, congratulations on being rid of those old ruins for good. You couldn't even go back now if you wanted to. Isn't the thought of fresh air exciting? Well, don't get ahead of yourself. You're still in the underground. We don't be anywhere near your fancy surface air for a while. Now, let's get moving before my pedals freeze. Up to it, bud. Actually, what was your name again? It isn't bud. It's... Gun... Hat? That's right! I am Gun Hat! It is? <laughs> well, Gun Hat, enough talk! See ya! We already know what our name is. Why the hell do we want anyone else to know? Hey, pal! What are you wasting time here for? New area a little scary for you? Come on, you can do it. I doubt you'll even need a save. It's just snow, ice, monsters, and possible risk of frostbite. Nothing to it, pal. Now get out there. Okay, he's right. Let's not save at all. Let's not save. We're done with saving. What a waste of our time. What the hell is this on the wall? There's a thing right here. There appears to be something interesting on this rock. Touch it? I'm touching it. It was just some dirt in the snow. You wipe off your hand on a suspicious carving of the rock face. <laughs> <laughs> it's got the same style of humor as Undertale. Gotta be said. Okay. Ah, uh, we... No, I'm not gonna touch it. It takes considerable self-discipline, but you ignore the interesting rock. Good. It's what I'd like to see! Uh, now, we got a few numbers. I think I may have missed one from that vampire's house, but we got 521. So far. So far. All right, we'll come up here. And... Up this way. There's obviously something in the snow here. It's just grass. Hey, travelers. What are you selling? You feel heat coming off of the pile of stones. Okay. Hello, friend. My husband and I have been exploring the underground. Many secrets lie throughout these lands. It makes for us a great and exotic honeymoon. Unfortunately, we're a bit lost at the moment. He says he knows where we are, but I think he's just embarrassed. Any idea where we could get a map? Nope. <laughs> I'm not from here. We're not lost! I know exactly where we are! Okay. That guy is obviously capping her. About as hard as we cap those guys earlier with our gun. But not with a gun. He's he's just he's just capping with his riz. If you if you catch my meaning, his Ohio riz. God, it feels even dirty to say that. Yuck. I'm actually ashamed of myself. There is an igloo here. Uh I'm inspecting it. It's just an igloo. Yep, nothing to see here. Ah! Uh, they're dropping Tetris on me! No! Oh, damn it, we hit one of the Tetris blocks as well. The igloo towers over you menacingly. Kidding. It's just an igloo. Uh, compliment? You comment on the igloo's fine craftsmanship. It's an igloo. Thanks, I mean igloo! Okay, I'm just gonna hide up here. Oh, damn it, we took one. I took one for the team. You think you see igloo move a bit. Okay, dance. You do a little dance. Someone has come out to investigate. What is that? Oh, it's a hermit crab. Um, hi, can I join? No! You cannot damn well join, you asshole! Get your own dance party! Frost Merritt is considering a renovation. Okay, I'm going to compliment him. You compliment Frost Merritt's hiding skills. Really? Ninja like? Is that really what I said? That's very cringe. That's not something I would actually say. Ah! Frost Merritt seems to be contemplating hiding again. No! I'm going to uh, I'm going to inspect his No, I'm gonna compliment him. You compliment Foster Merritt's hiding skills. Really? Ninja like okay, this is uh, it's actually ramping up in speed. Oh piss off. <laughs> we almost just got ganked. 
Clover uses AK-47. No rule against mentioning put. Just kidding. What? What is Poe? Who's Poe? Who is Poe? You look like a ninja. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and run. Or we could actually figure out how to beat this guy normally. Inspect? We'll inspect him. You begin giving Frost Mirror to discerning once over. It looks uncomfortable. No kidding. There's nothing to stare at. Is there? Well, I mean, there wasn't, but you kind of forced my hand a little bit. Uh, it did force my hand. Frost Merritt is doing a crust shuffle. Okay, we're going to dance with him. You start doing a crab walk dance. Frost Merritt jumps in. Great. Can you come dance with me more often? No. My dude, I've got a gun. Uh, I must just hit that snow. That was close. Frost Merritt is ready to scuttle on its way. Okay, we'll go ahead and spare him. So we got to dance. That's how we get him out of his shell. You're befriending Frost Merritt as it tries to kill you? Yep. <laughs> That's how you make friends. That's just how you make friends. Okay, I'm going into this water right here. Or not. There's a fishing hole cut into the ice. Can I have the fish? No, maybe not. Okay, I think spearing them actually does get them out of the kind of like the monster pool that could attack you. Oh, a crate. What's in this? Nothing. Okay, what does this say? This is a box. It is a stupid box. You can put items in it and they'll stay there. Until you take it out, that is, then it's not there. And then there are more of these boxes later. You can use them to retrieve the stuff that you put in this box. It's super dumb. Sincerely, a box hater. Would that make them gay? Would that, would that make them gay if they if they hated a bit of box? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and flee from this guy. Igloo, igloo. Uh, why did flee not work? Oh, damn it. Okay, we're dead. In the underground, yes. Can't reach Asgore if you're dead. Don't fall around. Okay. Oh, Flowey, welcome back. This guy screwed us. Flowey actually screwed us. He, to he told us that we didn't need to save. You're still full. Okay. We have to fight this guy again. Are you taking the piss? Seriously? Oh, well, okay. So much for Flowey assisting us. What a jackass. We'll just skip this fight then. And we're not gonna touch any of his things either. Okay, now that we know what we're doing is actually not that bad. Let's go ahead and just mercy spear him because it's the fastest one. Excellent. Okay, good. Mercy spear. Where'd you come from? Ow. Okay, good. And Mercy Spear. Okay, the combat is just as jank as it was in Undertale. And the reason I say that is because I've just realized that if you try and go diagonally, there is a very, very tiny section where uh, the game will actually stop you from going diagonally. Okay, fine. I'll follow all this water around. Or, or the blood or something like that. I better get a fish out of it, though. Okay. Spear him! Okay, good. Which way are we going? This way? Okay, that's fine. Cheap. We'll keep on going this way. You can actually see the diagonal movement failing every now and then. Because every time you go like too much sideways, it'll just cancel the diagonal and it'll go sideways instead. Which was uh, something that I noticed when I was fighting Sans over and over again. Made the fight real frustrating. So I kind of don't really feel like I've got the tools required to beat Sans. I still haven't beat him, by the way. He's still really, really difficult. Okay, still gonna spare him. Good. Okay. Excellent. Oops. I was trying to skip dialogue. Uh, we got the nice little easy jevil sequence right here. I bet Toby Fox stole that attack sequence and then put it into uh, Deltarune. Okay, we'll spare him again. Okay, what's next? Uh, I'm gonna try and mercy him. No, or not. Okay. Let's go ahead and shake his hand. We're still friends. How dare you move diagonally? I know, it's a little offensive, isn't it? What the heck is Undertale Yellow? This is a fan game made by a fan of uh, the popular Toby Fox game, Undertale. So that when they 
when they saw that Undertale was a very successful game, they started to make this game as kind of like an interpretation of another character in the game. It's about as simple as that. Okay. I'm, I'm just gonna leave. We're just leaving and we're not gonna follow Flowey's advice. I don't know why that I actually followed his advice. Why do you need to save? Screw you, Flowey. Flowey actually screwed us over. What a dick. Well, here we are. Okay. I'm just gonna skip all of this dialogue. Thankfully, the controls are still the same as in Undertale. What if they use the same kind of like code for the game? Good. I told him my name was Clover. I'm still gonna tell Flowey that my name is Hat Gun. Gun Hat. Gun it. Gnoot. Gnoot. Gnoot, right? A popular Viking name, Gnoot. That threw us so far back, by the way. Oh my god, what does this say? The original text of this sign was crossed out. Now it reads, Entry Forbidden in Blue Crayon. Oh, Blue Crayon, right, because he likes to make children's stuff. Gotcha. Okay, we'll come along here. This game is like Undertale Yellow. This game is Undertale Yellow. What are you talking about? <laughs> what crack are you smoking, average user? It's exactly what we're playing. Oh, I didn't look for the numbers again. Okay, here's Flowery again. Uh, now, we kind of also want to tell him that uh, our name is Gunhat. Gunoot. Yep, good. Let's actually save against Flowey's goddamn advice. What a dick. What an asshole. What an ac Oh, I see. Delta Rock. Right, so it's another, it's another Zelda reference. I'm going to go north for some reason. I always follow the north winds. Uh, these are the two guys that got lost. And there's a rock blocking the path. So we probably either need to find a map or a huge load of dynamite to blow that rock open. Something like that. Okay. There is an igloo here. Not for long. We're off. <laughs> Does it have lore? I don't, well, I don't know if it's confirmed. Somebody said that Toby Fox did actually confirm the lore of this game. But I don't actually know if it's canon into the whole Undertale universe. Okay, we're being attacked again by another igloo. I'm fleeing. Igloo noises! Uh... Okay, so... We should probably dance this guy away, right? Because we don't really want to fight him. We do a little dance. Here he comes! Little crab comes out. Great. Hi, can I join? What the hell? Oh! Why is he trying to grab me? That's not very nice. Why is this attack phase so long? Why did I get hit?! Frost Merit is considering a renovation. All right, we're gonna dance. We start doing a, a jig. Which one? This one? Okay. Uh. 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 <laughs> okay, we can now spear him. Oh, I fled! Damn it! Where's the law? He's gonna touch you? He didn't touch me. He didn't touch me. What the hell is that? There's a hole here. It does nothing. I still don't really see any numbers around the place. I am looking though. There's an igloo here. All right, we're off. Bye bye. Never mind. Igloo noises. Oh, this one's actually kind of tricky to avoid. Ah, damn it! We got boxed in. Okay, we're gonna flee. No, we're not. Apparently, this single house is faster than us. Even after, even before it's deployed its legs. Are you taking the piss? Three failed fleas in a row. What are we, a bad vet? Okay, we'll go ahead and we'll dance him out of his hole then. Ugh, he did though. He did, it, he, he did in the sense that we hit his hitbox. He didn't physically actually touch us though. That's the issue. He didn't physically touch us. Okay, grab me please. Good, he's gonna do a grab. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, I see, it's the closest claw that goes after you it seems. Right, okay. Frost Merit is ready to scuttle on his way. Done, we speared him. We speared him like we would a kebab. Okay, still looking around for the little numbers in the walls. I can't move. My controls! No! Free kill, boy, the lava rock puzzle. Check! Oh? 
Well, it should hold together for a few uses at least. And that's good enough for me. Next up, Honeydew Resort. More like, honey, do you want to sleep with me in this hotel resort? Am I right? Ha! Ah, I like this attack. What is that? That was a bird of some sort. Oh, bugger. We already screwed the pooch. All right, what is this? To whom it may concern. In accordance with Royal Guard Guidebook Section 4, Paragraph 2, this puzzle is intended to impede the progress of an intruder, probably you, entertain the residents of the surrounding area, Snowden, and appear intimidating to would-be intruders or wrongdoers. I'm unclear on what they mean by that, just go with it. To pass by this challenge, you must melt the ice cube. Make sure the ball things get to the bottom without breaking, though. Signed, Martlet of the Underground Royal Guard. P.S. If one of the logs gets stuck, uh, just jiggle it a little. I noticed it was sticking the other day, but know how it is with DIY projects. <laughs> Always something has to go wrong. So yeah, just a quick jiggle will do. PPS. I just realized that you might not be able to reach the log to jiggle it. I mean, not everyone can fly or is freakishly tall, especially if you're a human or something. So just hope it doesn't get stuck. PPPS. I figured it out. If it gets stuck, just wait. I come around to inspect the puzzle quality every third day. Just hang out right where you are for a day or two. Oh, and I hope it doesn't get stuck. PPPPS. I have been informed that the amount of PSs on this sign is unseemly. I am very sorry for any trouble they have caused. Alright, good. What a steal! Yes. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to like, uh, hit buttons and stuff, but it's not actually working. Is it like, is it controls? Ah, I see. Whoops. Well, I screwed that one up quick. All right, let's try again. Third time's the charm. Let's get that one out of the way. We'll get that one out of the way, and then we'll get that one out of the way. Done! Awesome. Okay, that's one. I didn't realize we'd have to do this three goddamn times. Un. the As I say in France. Pla. As I say in France. Okay, that's three of four X. That's all of it. That's all of it. Nice. Okay, good. We're probably going to need to get that bridge back up and running at some point. Can we actually not get up there? Oh, we can get up there, but the bridge, right? So we got to cross this bridge at some point, I imagine. Because there is a sign up there. Oh, this guy licked the, licked the pole. Whoops. Idiot. Hey, you. You heard me up this pole? I've been here for two hours now. You seem to get up and do me the naked. You know the code reason, I'm no stick! My man told me to be back in time for lunch too! Please help! Uh, sure, here's some bullets. Maybe there's some curses in my tongue! This is just a convoluted trap to get us to make him a cup of coffee. I'm not buying it! I'm not buying it! Alright, well, fine, let's go get him a cup of coffee then, I suppose. We'll come up this way and we'll go through here. There's ice on some of these bushes. I don't know if they indicate the next number that we're supposed to take. What is this, a barrel? Some wood, presumably taken off the dilapidated shack. You notice a blue feather hidden behind it. Do I? Some wood. Okay, did I take the feather? D did I take the feather? No. Why not? Some wood, presumably. What are you doing? Take the feather. Or not. Okay, fine. Looks like, oh, there we go. It's a fight. Is it an igloo? It is an igloo. Okay, we're going to dance the night away. You do a little dance and it comes out to investigate. I'm going to slam this guy. Hi, can I join? Uh, sure. You join whatever you damn well please, my dude. Oh, oh damn it. We took one. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do another dance. Make a little love. Get down tonight. Oh, get away from that one. 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 We'll just stay in danger's range. And then we'll outmaneuver it. Good. Okay. It's good. We are sparing it. Done. Excellent. Can we take the feather from this side of the building now? Some wood. Are you serious? What the hell? Why can't I have the feather? Howdy. How are you holding up? Things aren't getting any easier, huh? It would be nice to walk through here without a hassle. I guess that's not how the world works. That's monsters for you. They can never mind their own business. In any case, you're doing great. Keep it up, buddy. I wonder if he's trying to riz us into killing someone ourselves. Dear owners of dilapidated cabin, 
First, I'm very sorry that your cabin is so dilapidated. Like, I don't know what happened to it, but I'm sure it was unfortunate. Second, I am sorry that some of your wood has gone missing. According to the Royal Guard Guidebook, Session 42, Paragraph 1, so long as notice is given to the original owner at least two business days prior, any and all eyesores can be repurposed for puzzles or other diversions. Well, I didn't know how to contact you, but considering this notice, unfortunately not one of the prior variety, but you know, notice. All right, fine. And we don't get the feather, apparently. Doesn't really see. Oh, there's a little snow castle here. It's a snow castle. How cute. Can we stomp it? No. No, we cannot. Which route, by the way? We are doing neutral initially. Insomnitot staggers forward. Oh, I'm going to put this thing down. Oops, missed. <laughs> Sleep is for the weak. That's a toxic attitude, my dude. Oh, piss off. This guy's got fast attacks. This guy's real fast for someone who doesn't sleep. Okay, I'm going to fire uh, all of these pebbles into its face. Don't know what time it is, and I don't care. Oh, my God. Okay. I did not expect any of this. Large hitboxes on those things. Okay, let's go ahead and try and kill it again. No, I don't think that was a crit. It was still a bit of damage, though. Okay, still doesn't really know what time it is, and he doesn't really care, even still. Can we, like... I feel like we can bait his attacks around. Okay. The smell of french fries wafts around the air. I outgrew my bedtime, so no rules for me. Oh, piss off. That was tricky. That was actually a tricky fight. I love neutral route because it's fun with the last two fights. You're supposed to dodge the attacks. Oh, right. That's right. We're supposed to dodge them. Welcome back. Yeah, I haven't played this game before, so I'm going neutral. And then I'm probably going to see what the pacifist route looks like, and then I'm going to murder everything. Uh, can we just run? Yes. <laughs> Thank the Lord. Good. Okay, we'll come up here. Oh, is that a coffee? What's this? A new customer! Bam! Who am I? Nobody of note, you know. Just the best darn salesman ever! Wait, I'm Mo! Anyways, the fact that you tried to get your mitts on this mug could only mean one thing. You're looking for a delicious little something to hit the spot, right? Of course, I know your type. So, you want this here beverage? Nope. Of course not. <laughs> you and I, we're on the same page here. This thing? Gross. No one wants that. Liquids? So last season. Solids? Pfft. Season before. You want to be fresh and revolutionary? I got the latest thing. Solids? They used to be liquids. He's selling snow to a snowman. Oh my god. And you know, haven't been sitting out in the forest for three weeks. I've invented the next big thing here. For the incredibly low price of 15 gold, you can have your very own hot chocolate pop. It was once boring old hot chocolate, but now it's frozen to the perfect temperature. Have I piqued your interest yet? No. You sure you don't want one? You have to keep up with the times, pal. Here, yeah, I have an idea. I'll let you look at them for free. Call it a holiday special. I don't get a lot of shipments, so I only have one of each. Let's get down to business. I just said I don't want it though. Here's what I got. Uh, let's get a hot pop. Great choice. You enjoy that pop, buddy. Nice. Uh, we'll give this guy to the... We'll give this to the tongue guy, I think. Okay, I don't know what's going to be up here, but... Maybe we should go back and save first. What is up here? <laughs> no cone comes to see if you are made of fire. You are not. I'm fleeing. Okay. No cone drew on wall once. No cone got mother mad. Whoa, okay. We can move through the orange ones. Damn it. Okay, very close. No cone is banging a rock against a fallen branch. The branch breaks. No, it's stupid. Uh, let's berate it. We'll pretend to be its mother. We'll do a psyop on it. You berate no cone's ignorance and terrible grammar. What no no cone not no what no cone fault? That is very rude. Oh no, he's throwing his cherries at us. Gross. No cone starts doing a primitive dance. Okay, what if we educate him? You patiently explain the dangers of an open flame. No cone seems receptive. Fire bed? You tried to help No Cone? No Cone appreciates thought. Okay, he's throwing his cherries at us again, but this time much slower. I'm going past them. <laughs> well that one was hard. No cone has been enlightened. Oh, we only have to educate it. That's literally all that is required to get around this fight. Done. That was pretty simple. What about this castle? What's in here? It's a snow castle! How cute? You open the doors. Oh, it wasn't here. You open the drawbridge. It's like one of those, um, 
Marishka dolls. What are they called? You hit hurts too much to keep going. Okay. <laughs> Me Metrioshka. A Metrioshka doll. The dolls inside dolls. Oh, there's that guy throwing the stuff into the ocean from the base game. Humph, 238. Humph, 239. At this pace, Ice Wolf is ready for a new job in no time. <laughs> He's actually still doing that job in Undertale. That's pretty funny, actually. Okay, uh, I'm still looking for numbers around the place. I don't really see any. What about up here? Anything up here? There's a thing in the snow here. It's just grass, it seems. Oh no. What is this? Ugpiss. Oh boy, oh gee, a customer! I'm nervous! I'm a mail whale from the Underground Postal Service. Haven't heard of us? We're the best! For sure, just call us Ugpiss. <laughs> so I hear you're new to the Underground. How do you ask? Well, word sure gets around. The Underground is great and it keeps getting better. Because I brought for you your very first letter. You received mail. That was a special letter from us to you. Do you feel welcome now? I hope you do. Isn't the mail system a wonderful innovation? If you ever want to use it, just come to a station. They look just like this and they're scattered all about. If you want to receive some mail, find one and give a shout. We assure you, they are conveniently situated. Here at Ugpiss, we're anything but dated. Talking and sharing, or using mail. From your underground friends, but that's all for this whale. Now I must be off, the mail mustn't be late. See you later on in your journey, mate. Okay, I'm getting kind of like uh, Australian vibes. Best level for neutral route is level, by the way. 100 HP for some reason? I have no idea what that even means. I've never played this game before. Come here, give me, give me some hot fire. Hello again, friend. Do you have mail to claim? I don't know. Let's take a look. You don't. What a shame. <laughs> if you want to check again, just ring the bell. Until we meet again, I bid you farewell. Okay, bye Flying Whales by Gojira. What a band. What an excellent band. Okay, so there was actually another path that we could have taken, but it seems like we don't have that option anymore. Must say, I didn't remember this place being so, you know, colorful. Really can't go two seconds without getting harassed around here. Hasn't anyone heard of personal space? Unless someone can mail you to Asgore, I don't see why we need him. Anyway, let's get a move on. Time's a-wasting. Okay, we're gonna save here, because uh, uh, despite what Flowey said, he lied to us. The remnants of a snowman, once full of life, now full of potential for a new life. Why has everything started to rhyme? Please, God, no. Not like this. Okay, what's up here? Ah, gigantic mug of coffee. It's a person. Hey, watch it. Oh, ho, ho. Would you look at that? I think this chump wants to pass. Swig, toast, come over here. Yeah, boss. What's up? You need a shave again? We got ourselves some fresh meat. Ah, you ain't getting nowhere, small fry. Yeah, not nowhere. Will you two put a lid on it? Um, anyway, the name's Riffle. I'm the boss of the world-renowned gang, the Shufflers. We rule this town. If you want to pass, you're gonna have to go through us. Whoa, 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 whoa. no need to start a fight. Let's be civil here. Do you attempt to attack everyone you encounter? Calm down, will you? Okay, we're gonna kill these guys. Jeez, we Shufflers prefer to settle things in a more dignified manner. You catch my drift? We would like to propose a challenge. A game of sorts. We'll take this ball here and hide it under one of us. Next, we'll shuffle around. When we finish, you'll have to guess who has the ball. We'll do this three times in a row. You win, you can pass. You lose, we'll sit here blocking you for all eternity. Okie dokie. You picking up what I'm putting down? Sure. That makes things easy then. Here we go. All right, where's the ball? Okay. It's on the, it's on the right. It's on middle, left, middle, left. Left. Right here. That was easy. I'm good at these games. Nice eye, kid. Keep it up. On the left. Middle, left, middle, left, right. Uh, it is... Middle. Easy! Cuphead reference? Possibly. Cup ventilator? Hopefully. You're doing good, kid. And don't let it go to your head. Okay, middle. I can't really tell you exactly what is... Where it is. It's here. Got it. I got quick eyes. I got real good eyes. Boss, I think the little punk beat us. That must have been a lucky guess. There's no way a glass of spoiled milk like you could beat us. Now, now, Toast, let's simmer down. There ain't nothing to get heated over. The kid beat us fair and square. The shufflers ain't nothing if not true to their word. Ain't that right? Yeah, boss, a shuffler always keeps a word. <laughs> yeah, always. Now, kid, we'll let you pass on through. You've earned yourself a powerful friend in the shufflers today. All you gotta do is remember the name. 
And we'll be on your side if you ever need us. The shuffler is always protect a friend, right boys? Yeah. You got a problem, we can handle it. Yeah, handle. I think we just... I think we just joined a gang. I think we actually just joined a gang, which is pretty cash money. I, I think it's pretty awesome that we just joined again. I'm gonna go ahead and save. We'll go back to that guy with the thing on his uh, tongue, right? And then we'll try and get the gang to unstick him. So maybe we can kill them all at once. We'll get our gun out. We should have six shots and a revolver. I imagine we've got a revolver, otherwise we wouldn't be wearing a cowboy hat. And then I think with that revolver, we should uh, potentially try and just murder everybody. Okay, that's that dog over there. We'll come all the way back down here. There's also one area we didn't necessarily go into yet. So it was here and... No, it wasn't here. It was even further down. And then we got to go to our immediate right down here because there was another branching path. I'm not entirely sure what was down here. That is... Sus. What is this? I read something in a book once. It said if life comes at you too fast, press B and take it slow. Whatever that means. Oh, okay, thanks. Thank you for the hint. Uh, nothing around here. That is a big black tree. I've destroyed something. Whoops. Is this... Take the ice balance? Yes! Weapons! Good, okay. We, um, murder potentially has just gone up. Let's go ahead and use these ice pellets. Great, your gun is now cold to the touch. That's not good. Actually, that'd probably make it less likely for us to get an actual fire off, if you pardon the pun. You can't fire a gun if it's, if it's frozen. Hard to do. Okay, we've got a couple of things here and uh, a mafia. Let's put a hot pop on him. There is no hot coffee around here. There is no hot coffee. I feel like that raccoon dude was actually just gonna throw the coffee on the ground anyway, right? I've returned, hey there, Spamton. We're just getting into a fight with this here snow cone. Oh well. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna educate him. You patiently explain the dangers of an open flame. Excellent. Ah! I'm gonna go through this. Damn it, I still took damage because my controller, my controller failed to register that I was moving in the same direction. Okay, bye bye. That's done, that was easy. Hello, Spamton G. Spamton? Uh, that's not me. I think you're talking to chat, right? FPE, my circle? No idea what FPE means. Federal penis extremes? Oh, we didn't go the other direction. No, we went the other direction. It was just some ammo. No, come some, some scare, see if you're made of fire. All right, I screwed up all of those words. Let's go ahead and just uh, educate him. Good. Good. Maybe we'll see him later. Maybe he'll be able to sustain a job. Or maybe, maybe he'll do anything else other than attacking random strangers on the street. Who knows? Hard to say, actually. FPE means fundamental paper education. Oh, of course! Exactly. That's that. That's exactly what I should have thought of, right? The battle music just goes insanely hard. It's the same music as Undertale. There's not actually too many songs that are different from the uh, base Undertale game, believe it or not. Okay, good. Like this one here, this is the same song as the snowy area in Undertale. The last one we heard was the battle theme from Undertale. It's all the same music. Okay, we'll come all the way up here. Hello there, Cupheads. Honeydew Resort. Okay. What do we got up here? We've got a bear here. We've got a bear with some honey on its back. Looks like this bear fell asleep on its way to the resort. It has jars of honey tied to its back. They're getting cold. Uh, are they? Are they getting cold? What's behind the resort? Let's see. I bet there's some goodies back here. Hello? Any clothes I can wear? Anything? Anything I can adorn my hat with? Hello there, friends. Hey, have you seen those loiterers outside? They keep telling me they're a well-renowned gang, but I've never heard of them before. Maybe I really am getting to be out of the loop. Yeah, I'll say. They do crimes and stuff. Nothing like avoiding life's responsibilities by lounging all day. <laughs> Been here for two weeks at the same spot every day. It's been so easy to lose yourself out here. I don't even know if I have a job to get back to. It's pretty great. Uh, here in New Zealand, we've got three months until abandonment of employment takes in and you're fired. Maybe it would be nice if I was fired. I'll just go live in the wild and find my own food. That should be everyone's goal in life. <laughs> That's what my dad wanted to do at the turn of Y2K and he actually had a plan together to do as well. He wanted to um, basically go into the bushes on Y2K and uh, hunt food with a recurve bow. What a guy. Now this is what I'm talking about. A perfect place to relax and de-stress. Well, not perfect, a bit crowded for my taste. At least that keeps in things interesting. Okay, I'm gonna do a save right here because Flowey is an asshole and he lies to us about our, our potential to, uh, you know, die a horrible death. This way to the hot spring. Now we don't wanna go there, we wanna go explore this place first. 
Okay. Nothing through there. Also, if he is a YouTube series. Oh, I've never heard of it before. Mainly because I make content. I don't I don't watch content. Okay, what's going on up here? There's a little cat over here. Well, welcome to the Honeydew Resort. Please sit around. Was that the line? I don't know. Heals 14 HP. Comes with honey syrup. Uh, GB beer. Uh, heals 20 HP. It's shaped like my face. I don't know what the GB stands for. Um, gay bestie? Gay bestie beer? Honeydew pin. Uh, gives us better defense. Would look great in our hat. Okay, I can afford that because I've killed enough things for it. And we're probably going to sell some of the other things. I appreciate the effort, but my dad would ground me if I bought our items off of strangers. That's what he always told me. Don't buy items off of strangers. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. Uh, tell me about this resort. Um, well, this resort has been a family business for years. We use local honey and all of our goodies while providing a warm place to visit. It was started by my great-great-uncle back in... Where's my great-great-grandfather? I... I can't answer this customer's simple question! I'm not cut out for this job! Uh, what about... Tell me about it. So, uh, more about this place. Our amenities are nice. The honey cooler, our coveted latte machine. Oh, the space heater. That's a special one. It was donated to us by a real nice engineer by the name of Jujin. His apprentice helped us as well. He worked in the steamworks ages ago when it was... You know, operational. Of course, everyone around here knew him for his generosity and soft smile. Always wanted to make people feel welcome. The heat from that machine often reminds me of those days. I hope it does too, if uh, you were there, which you weren't. I'll shut up now. Okay, fine, how's business? It's better than ever. This is the place to be in Snowden. Some come for the band, some for the hot spring. But the monsters love our coffee the most. I don't blame them one bit. It's a sweet blend of coffee beans, hazelnut, creamer, and honey straight from the forest. I've already had 13 cups this morning. <laughs> and I'm about to have a heart attack. What about the band? The band? Let's see. We have a few acts that come here to play. The band is a very popular one from Hotland. Oh, you should totally hear the new single. I especially love the chorus. It's so good and... And, uh... Oh no. I've just been talking about what I like. You must be so bored. This is why I don't like conversations. Okay, what about Del? That name rings a bell. Hmm. Oh, I remember. Sir, strange little guy. He would often visit here, sit down, and watch the band. It looked like he was in a trance every time he watched them. I always wanted to talk to him, but, uh... The thought of socializing that much always scared me. Before I could muster the courage, he suddenly stopped visiting. I wonder where he went. If you see him, be sure to tell him he's always welcome here. I will do no such thing, good God. FPE has one episode so far, I think. Oh, it's not a YouTube series then, it's literally a, a single video. You've named your account after a single video, congratulations. Okay, we'll come up here. This guy looks like a gunslinger, or a bunslinger. Hey kid, the get up. I'm guessing you're from the dunes, eh? Wacky place that is. I'm probably the only other one here that's been around those parts. Some monsters avoid it due to the dryness and high temperature. What's a kid like you doing hanging with those wild guys, eh? Don't look so confused, I'm just messing with you. Heh. <laughs> Thanks! How's it hanging? The name's Rodney. I'm the leader of our little band here. We travel all around the underground performing for the monsters. This resort is a regular gig. Here to hear a tune? Sure. Right on, dude. This is a chilly song you can curl up by the fireplace to. Supposed to be a series? Yeah, everything's supposed to be a series when it gets more than one video. But until there's more than one video, it can't be a series. It's been several months and it's literally an animation with 2018, the living tombstone music. Wait, seriously? Did you actually name your account after a single abandoned video series? Oh, well, there are worse account names, I'd, I'd say. When does this get good? Oh, we can, we're, we're out of it, okay. Are you enjoying the tunes as much as I am? Uh, less so now. Actually, don't answer that. You're not. I used to be one of those super fans you hear about. 
followed the band around from place to place, learned all of the aliases they use in hostels, watched them by their favourite brands of cereal. I'm reformed now, though. <laughs> now I'm content to sit and listen. <laughs> oh, just a heinous stalker. All right, just this thing left. You know why they told me to go on this vacation? Well, because I come off as stressed, but you know why that is? I have a theory, you see. Because there are just so many things in life to worry about. Work and laundry and imminent starvation and so on. Those are the important back home. But here, still important. Monsters pretend they're not though. And you know what that is? This despicable, irresponsible, shameful behaviour! You know how much part I'll have in it? None. Zip. Zero. Zilch. And that's how much you should have too. Okay, fair enough. Fun fact, the three band members are based off of the devs. Wait, seriously? Actually? Does one of them actually have a triangular head? Because that would be absolutely insane if, if one of the developers' head is actually in the shape of a, of a triangle. Crazy. I can't even picture that. Nice and cosy. You notice a sticker on the heater. Crafter with love by Chujin and Marlette. Okay, we're getting a lot of names. I'm not really sure that is important. Can we go back here? No, we can't. Okay, so there's just a shop here. They sell a bunch of crap. Can we go into the back rooms? What about this cup of honey? A cooler full of honey. Ready for drinking. Yum. <laughs> I knew it! I knew there was a back door. Okay, good. Creep? Actual creep? She did say it was supposed to be a series. She hasn't uploaded in eight months. Yeah, if, it reminds me of that phrase, right? Everybody has a plan until they're punched in the face. Maybe he said it was going to be a short series. Maybe he's working on the next one. I don't know. I don't know, like, eight months is probably a pretty long time to be uh, dropping another video. Uh, it's probably more likely that they just um, lost motivation and abandoned the entire project altogether. Let's talk to this bee. I wish I left my, ha my left hand was as cosy as my right. Normally I have two mittens, so my warmth is symmetrical, but I think my left mitten took a vacation or something. It just left me. Oh, okay. It just left me. Right. That was a forced pun as well, not even a good one. Still not really seeing any numbers that we can use. Okay, we'll come up here, hopefully. Yep, we can come up here. There's this lizard thing. What's this lizard up to? There is a torch on one side, but not on the other. The feng shui of this place is terrible. Yeah, I'll say. Oh, that is disgusting. Yuck! Ew! I've just opened it. Hello! Are you enjoying the warm atmosphere that can only be brought by a torch? Is it pleasant? Is it sentimental? Is it attractive? Man, I love being a torch. Great. I can't get into the pool. Maybe we should try the other side. Maybe that's why there's only one. The water is blocked by stairs. <laughs> Can we talk to this guy? This turnip? Hey, buddy. This is the hottest spot in Snowden. Why, literally. I've wanted to come here for forever, and this is finally my chance. It was worth the wait. This is complete bliss. What about this honey spilled on the ground? That's a nice little, uh... I'm going to screenshot that. There we go. I think we screenshot of that. Hey, you! Swimming is a great full body workout. Are you seeing these limbs? I've never been so toned. On top of that, I have dropped a whole goggle size. Ah, <laughs> oh, because he's just a head. I get it, I get it, I get it. Has anybody seen those photos of people in the Olympic pools pouring bottles of water on themselves? There's a reason for it. I didn't know this until recently, but those pools are 40 degrees hot. It kind of like... Hot water allows you to move more freely through the water because it's vibration of particles that are already moving and swimming through them is just easier. So you always get these photos of people pouring water over themselves while in those pools and they just look stupid. They look unbelievably stupid. Just the, the most awfully stupid people in the world. Just dumb. Dumb idiots pouring water on themselves while in a pool. That's what it looks like, but there's a reason for it. Oh, splash the torch. It has 60 million views and no updates, by the way. What limbs? Do you see these limbs? No. No, no one sees those limbs. It'd be awesome if there was regular Snowden enemies like Snowdrake or Icecap, but they probably couldn't add them to my guess for copyright reasons. Uh, Toby Fox has basically made Undertale Creative Commons at this point, right? So as long as you just credit him with uh, making Undertale, you can basically use whatever you want. Except for the music, which is now currently stuck in a position where if you upload uh, any Undertale gameplay, it'll get copyright claimed uh, by Toby Fox's content ID company, Materia Music, uh, because they are desperate for money, they don't know how to run a company, and that is the only source of income that they can actually muster after wiping their ass with the goodwill of every single creator that has ever cre uh, signed up with them. Okay, Honeydew Resort, family owned and operated. All travellers, welcome. Great, I just went there. What about this thing? Wow, it's colder today than usual, huh? If I wasn't extremely lazy, I'd go to the Honeydew Resort and get some hot coffee. 
us sell our coffee. Let us sell our coffee. There is an igloo here. Okay, we're gonna dance it away. You do a little dance. Okay, good. This guy's coming out. It's coming out to play. Uh, hi, can I join? No. No, you cannot. You cannot join whatsoever. You do not have the moves. I have the moves. You do not have the moves. You dance like a Jerry hat trick. Okay. We're going to go ahead and do another dance. Done. Excellent. What are we dodging? Snow? Crippling. Ugh. Oh, damn it. Okay, we got boxing in that instance. We didn't really have a choice. Good. Let's spear this guy. Done. All right, let's move on. I'm not going to help that guy out with his tongue. Snow Drake? Now what? Snow what? Snow Drake! What, have you never, like, seen any Undertale gameplay? It's a pretty cheap game, actually. There's a person right here. What do you want? Royal guards, thinking they're all special. They don't have screening processes like they used to. How do they interview these bozos? Do you want to be a member of the Royal Guard? Yes? Here's a uniform. You start Monday. Just look at this puzzle. It was a perfectly nice bridge once. I remember what it looked like as a bridge. It would have ca called it a pretty handsome bridge. Now, you can say homemade is charming or whatever, but you can't call it handsome. No way, no way. She's got weird attractions. Bridge slippery during snowfall, no running. Oh, we can actually run. Okay, good. I'm going to be running anyway. What's down here? This is probably where we fall if we uh, fall off the bridge, right? What's this? Is this a cushion? Is this a cushion to sit on? I feel like that might be a cushion to sit on. Okay, we can sprint, which is awesome. I didn't realize that was even a thing. Okay, we'll go when it's yellow. Nice. And across, good. And across. Damn it! We fell onto the cushion! That's what the cushion's for. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. I love this Oogloo crab more than anything. I'm pretty surprised that we haven't killed it yet, to be quite honest. Okay, we'll go across there. We'll go across there. This one's fast. Okay, we made it. And excellent, we did it. And we fixed the bridge as well. What does that lady have to say about it? Does that lady have anything to say about it? Why can't we sprint on the bridge? Strange. It wasn't a handsome bridge last I looked. Was it always that way? Where am I? <laughs> okay, we've just confused one of the locals. I played on Tell, by the way. It was just meme where Snow Drake's name is Confused Drake. Uh, confused Drake is kind of like, why are there PDF files in my house? That's, that's probably a better Confused Drake, isn't it? Try Hector wobbles forward. What the hell is that thing? Okay, I'm gonna kill it. Oh, we've got two shots now. Great. These two clowns get all the attention. Sweet Jesus, help me! Okay, good. Now let's shoot it. Bang, bang. Got a couple of good shots on there. That did nothing. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Okay. I love the animation style of these attack sets. These are great attack sets. It's a shame that I'm going to murder them. Bang, bang. 26. Done. I'm tired of being overlooked. Uh, oh, damn it. They're spreading apart. Oh, there we go. Nice. We took a hit. That's enough. Boop, boop. Okay, one of those was a crit. 25. Good. That's only a difference of one damage. I'm the king of the castle. I have a chair. I like my wife. Neutral? Neutral, I think. Neutral, I guess. Yes, we're doing neutral. I think Snowdrake is a PDF file now. Yeah, most likely. Uh, okay, so we're going to go ahead and shoot it in its face with a couple of crits right there. Very good. 28. That sucks. That's, that's sucky damage. I'm king of the castle. I have a chair. I like. Very nice. Boop. Okay, we can just hug the walls and get away from it that way. Boop, boop. Done. I'm killing this really cute thing. Oh, it's really sad now. I won't let us fall. All right, well, good luck enforcing that. Because it's not... If we just go straight into the middle of one of the walls, so we're just gonna... Oh, it's tearing up! Okay, oh well. Bang, bang. This is a feel bad moment. We've killed it. You won! We got 25 experience and 12 gold. Our love increased. Excellent. That's what I like to see. What does the sign say? 10 steps to the east. Third sign. 10 steps to the west. First sign. I think we missed the first sign. Why does this grass look like it's flipping me off? I feel like it's actually flipping me off. What does the sign say? Then steps to the east, second sign. Okay, good. We'll we'll go for these signs, I think. We'll definitely take a look at these signs. Then steps to the west, second sign. Okay. Good to know. Good. Whoops. What is it? There's an igloo. Okay, we're going to dance the night away. You do a little dance. It's coming out to investigate. Hi, can I join? No. No, you can I. All right, good. Boop, boop, boop. 
Okay, good. And then dance once more. Excellent. I bit my tongue. Nice. Okay, these are actually kind of tricky to dodge, I would say. Oh, come off it! Oh my god, that was so close, that one. You're gonna love the neutral final boss. Neutral ending music goes so hard. Why won't it hit the ground? Why don't I say ground? Especially the play thing. Why won't it go into the corner? It won't go into the corner because that's how they're designed. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and spear him. You won. Was anyone here actually around for DVD player splash screens? Or idle screens? I don't know what you guys call them. I just call them what they were. Hey, we can actually go pretty far into the into the bushes there. Uh, still not really seeing any numbers. We only found numbers right at the start. What is this, a barrel? You take a look inside the barrel and find some coffee beans. Take it. Yes! Got some coffee bean ammo. Nice! C okay, we got CFF bean ammo. That's different. You load the coffee beans. Your gun now smells delightful! We can probably shoot that guy's tongue off now, right? We'll do that later. Okay. We'll take a look at this. What is this? Some leftovers from this puzzle's construction. What about these barrels? Some leftovers. Okay, good. Right, so this is going to be another one of these puzzles. To whom it may concern, after building the first ball puzzle, I realized a fatal flaw in its design. How was an intruder supposed to, like, see it? The puzzle was on a higher plane, out of your average monster's eyesight. So if someone solved that puzzle, they must be very good at guessing. In any case, I've created an improved version. With a new vertical design, you can see what you're controlling. The parts of it may still get stuck, though. Please refer to my instructions back at the first puzzle if that happens. Signed, Martlet of the Underground Royal Guard. Okay, done. We'll have to jiggle it, right? It's probably going to jiggle up and down. Boop. Boop. There we go. Excellent. I'm going to have to launch this up like so. Oh, yes, I nailed that. That was exactly what I thought was going to happen. Perfect. What's the effect it was, wasn't it? Okay, next puzzle. We need a billion of these puzzles solved. Oh, piss. That's going to take ages. Oh, well. I'm still willing to try. Uh, whoop. There we go. Nice. Almost overshot it, but we made it. <laughs> we overshot the ice ball. Okay, we filled it up. We only need to beat it twice, which is kind of cool. Done. Why is there a picture of a plank on this? Well, maybe that is actually a plank. It's the same color. It's probably just a plank. Okay. What's up here? There is a box up here. What about this chair? A wooden bench. What does it do? Well, can we fight it? A wooden bench. Can we fight it? Depends on how heavy we are, I suppose. You notice a fresh pancake lying under the bench! Take it! Yeah, baby! Okay, good. Let's go ahead and go into our items. I'm going to throw the rubber ammo on the ground. Yes, it's gone. Okay, we're taking this fresh pancake. We found a honeydew pancake. I've just stolen someone's dinner dead drop, I would say. Ball puzzle, don't bust the balls. I don't... All I got in this world are two things. My word and my balls, and I don't bust them for nobody. Can't interact with that one. Hello, Flowey. Howdy. We're almost out of here. I'm surprised that guard never saw you near Bright, you know? Their puzzles sure weren't impressive, that's for certain. Knowing that, I wouldn't worry if you ran into them. Whatever happens, I wish you luck. Okay, good. This guy's weirdly encouraging. Uh, can't take anything around here. This is probably going to be the boss fight, right? I'm suspecting boss fight. There are Christmas lights everywhere. Hey, buddy. What's good? I'm Yitzin. Oh, hello. Sorry, I didn't know where my head was right there. It seems I have a summer home in La La Land these days. You look a bit lost. Are you looking for directions? I'll let you in on a little secret. I'm not actually an information kiosk. I know this place looks like the back of my wing, though. I don't get m lost much here at all. I can get you wherever you want to go. Wait. I'm gonna take a shot in the dark here, but... You're a human, right? I knew it. I knew I'd find a human. You must be human, right? Right? You look just like this guy on the poster I saw once. He had a head just like you. And he was totally human, so like... Transitive property or, or something like that. Actually, I think he was from space. Are there space humans? You know what? I'll have plenty of time to ask you questions later. Okay, I'm being led to believe that this game is on the, the popular train that is Gaster is alive and is kind of like living in the game, right? Which is... is uh, that's just false. That's provably false. I've proved it wrong in so many streams. So many streams. Are you ready for some Royal Guard Protocol? I hope you are, because I memorized it. Then why do you have it? Martlet of the Royal Guard has encountered a human. Prepare to apprehend. 
Protocol 1. Be courteous and allow your opponent the first attack. Uh, okay, so if we go ahead and spear her. That slaps. Oh! Papyrus is tougher to Undyne's knowledge and smart to some extent than Martlet, and yet Martlet makes better puzzles by a long shot. Don't ask me how or why, but perhaps his big brain, trust me. I don't think he's big brain. I think I think he's trauma brain. Martlet attacks you. Smells like wings. <laughs> it's going to if we actually go ahead and start fighting her. So if we go ahead and act her, she's not she's gonna like panic, right? Because there's not gonna be anything in the book that actually correlates to a human being kind. It's good, that's gotta be the case, right? So maybe we could try and spear her. Well, Russia, you tap your wrist impatiently. Martlet looks apologetic and tries to talk a little faster. Um, I don't think I'm supposed to be helping you, but that was supposed to be your turn. It's okay. I space out and miss stuff like that all the time. I'll let you go again. Okay, Martlet is nervously consulting her royal guard book. I'm gonna ignore her next. You ignore Martlet's rambling. It doesn't look like she's noticed. Uh. I, hold on, I have a guidebook on me. I'll check what to do when someone doesn't actually attack. You can just, uh... Take another turn. Go for it. Hit me as hard as you can. Okay, I've got places to be. I've got places to be, Martlet. Uh, okay, I'm really sorry for the wait. I'm looking. I'm not the best royal guard, you know, but I'm really trying to be better. Last week I apprehended this girl. Total human. Oh, I think it's your turn. I'm sparing her. Ah, royal guards are to proceed to the next step without hesitation. Oh, does that count as hesitation? What? Protocol 2, my attack! Ah! Ah! Oh, I see. Yes, it's actually... Ah, she's actually not that bad as a, as a guard, I'd say. That is a pretty potent attack looking. I hate order, correct? I mean, hell, it's been a decade more or less since the blue human fell, so it's anybody's guess. How do, how do you guys know that? Do you guys actually have evidence for all of these timestamps that I'm being given? Because I, I think the whole point of Undertale is that it doesn't have timestamps. I mean, even in the intro sequence of Undertale, we're not even looking at our own character. We're looking at the first human who fell down there. And we can tell that by the stripes on the shirt as well. Okay. Marlet is blinking a lot. Maybe it's a code. It probably isn't. Let's spear him. That was only a warm-up. Prepare for the Royal Guard Gauntlet. Ah! She, she's throwing crap at us. Ah, damn it. She's a builder. She's got a bowling ball, though. I'm just going to stay way above the line of fire, I think. Oh, damn it. Ah, oh, we had to take that one. Marlet is nervously consulting her royal guard book. Okay. Oi, 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 a gust of wind blows a little blue feather in your face. Marlin looks embarrassed. Is that our blue feather? Is that the one that had? Take this, intruder! Ah! Okay. Oh, that's pretty lenient, actually. I don't mind that. Yeah, I like this. This one's... She telegraphs. She telegraphs like crazy. She's never going to win any heavyweight championships like this. She's throwing fridges? Yes, she... Well, I think she's actually throwing, like, bags of tools. Okay. We're going to mercy her. Phew! This is a real workout. Keep it up, Marlin. Okay, I'm gonna tire her out, I think. What? Okay. We gotta ride the breeze. Done. Marlin is flipping through her guidebook again. Okay, let's rush her. You tap your wrist impatiently and she gets a little bit faster. What? What? No! Yeah, it's definitely not fridges. The hell is going on with my controller? Oh, that's... Oh, the gust of wind is blowing me. Gotcha. Okay. I was trying to dodge those things. I didn't realize we were being forced down during that fight. Imagine not being able to use blue attacks like Pepperus. <laughs> okay. Come on, you lost to this rookie. Step it up, pal. All right, fine. We will kill her. We're going to kill her. We're, we're going to kill her. Protocol one. Let them attack. Okay. Bang. 18. Damn, she's got a lot of health. Good. Enough protocol two. Attack back. It is time to show you the true strength of a royal guard. I'm ducking, diving, dodging, dipping, and diving. As our customary. Okay, let's go ahead and shoot her with our coffee beans. Bang! Have a single shot of espresso. Oh, that kind of hurt. Oh, well. What? Okay, so we kind of got to dodge underneath the things that fly out of the tool chests, I'd say. Good. Bang, bang, into your face! Oh, we got SP plus one. 
Uh, I'm sorry, it's just seeing my guidebook, it didn't really say being attacked would hurt this much. I guess it makes sense, but still. Ow! Yeah, it's called a gun! Got a firearm. Whoa! 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 The trick to this attack phase seems to be uh, identifying exactly where the feathers are going to be coming from, as well as where they are going to be. Good, a couple of feathers litter the ground. Let's make that as many feathers as we can possibly ma muster. Ow! <laughs> oh, damn it, we took that one straight to the face. Excellent. Oh, damn it! Whoa! Ah! I feel like if we just pick a path and commit to it, we don't necessarily get hit as much as we would. Okay. Bang! That should have been, should have been a crit. Does it hurt this much when I attack you? Because I'm scared and I'm going to break a wing here. I don't want you to feel like this. I wouldn't want anyone to feel like this. With a royal guard, I guess. Okay, we'll dodge all of these real easy breezy feathers. Uh, ooh. Good. Marlin is searching her guidebook for first aid procedures. Let's not give her a chance. I don't know if that's us getting the, the superpowers. Ow! Okay, here we go. It's gonna be dropping a bunch of crap. Bowling ball, sure. This thing, that's a can. We got really unlucky and it bounced into us. Martlet is nursing her wounds. Okay, well, bang. I shoot her in the face. Okay, okay. Yo, this gonna be right. I mean, ow, I'm gonna be all black and blue tomorrow. It hurts you too, right? Like, it's impressive you don't show it, but... Ow! Whoa, okay, this is... Is this stolen right from Jevil? This feels stolen from Jevil. Okay, that feels stolen from Jevil. It's 3D. How is she surviving a damn bullet? Uh, she's got a really, really high resistance to caffeine, I think. Martlet is spawning random stuff out... Yeah, I know, right? Talk about freezing up. Oh, right, you can't laugh. All right, we're gonna try and res her. We're actually gonna try and res her. I think that is probably gonna be the way, right? Let's go ahead and rush her. Done. She's blinking. We'll rush her again. And... Good. Oops. You fake a yawn. Okay, I'm really sorry for the wait. I'm looking. I'm not the best royal guard, you know. Okay, good. She got a human. I don't think she did, actually. You tap your feet. Ah, oh, royal guards are supposed to proceed to the next step without hesitation. So we gotta tire her out, right? That is the thing. Oh, that was close, actually. We almost just lost it. But oh. oh. Okay, good. And we'll bait the last of them underneath us. Whoop. Excellent. Everything smells like birdseed with a tasteful hint of vanilla and orange blossom. Who cares? You tap your foot on the ground. Okay, good. She's now putting us through the whole gauntlet. Okay, good, and we gotta dodge under these things. Whoa, that was so close, actually. We almost just whiffed, oh, we whiffed one of those. And we took a secondary hit, unfortunately, as well. Good. Okay, we'll rush her some more. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! I'm gonna slip that one, slip this one, slip that one to the side, of course, slip that one. And I'm slipping this one too. And that one's getting slipped, and I'm slipping that one. And of course I'm slipping that one too. That was basically a freebie, I'd say. Okay, we'll rush her a little more. You fake a yawn! Good. Take this, intruder! Ah! Ah! Oh, what? <laughs> I wasn't in the hitbox! Okay. Alright, game. Oh, come off it! Ah, Undertale Yellow Riz route? Yeah. I beat all routes in Undertale Deltarune, secret Deltarune bosses, and secret enemies in Undertale. I, I would play Undertale Yellow if my computer's ping wasn't a thousand. Ping? It's got nothing to do with ping, my dude. It's, it's not an online game. You should res her? Yeah, we're trying to res her. Unfortunately, we're still getting hit by a bunch of her attack cycles. Okay, good. Prepare to appre uh, uh, hemmed. Okay, so, uh, we don't have any defense either. Okay, I'm just gonna rush her. Why not? Oh, we should just mercy her, right? Because it's the fastest one. Okay, good. Whoops. Get all of this out of the way. She's going to be firing a bunch of these little spines at us. Which is absolutely fine. I don't mind all that much. Just as long as we don't get hit by them, we are in a pretty good spot. Okay, we'll mercy her. Alright, good. Apparently this is a gauntlet. Got to go under that little snow globe there. That's the most reliable way through. Got to go through there. Push through here. Well, oh, damn it. We got hit by one of those. I'm gonna be hit by that one. Excellent. And mercy. Oh yeah! Oh yeah, she says. Slip that. Slip that. Give it the old slipperoo. Almost whiffed one of those. 
I love how some of these feathers go off the screen so you can't actually tell which direction they're coming from. Which can't cost you health. Excellent. Big lizard drawer. Okay, definitely took that one straight to the face. Probably best just to keep on circling around the arena, right? And then just not be where they are going to be. Okay, that works well. We'll keep on doing that for that attack cycle. Okay, good. Oh, that was so close. We almost just got uh, drawn on by that quill. Okay, good. Excellent. She's a little bit confused. Okay, we kind of want to get away from all of these things. Oh, piss off. Seriously? <laughs> okay, good. We're going to have to use an item, I think. All right, good. I think we've actually gotten past... Yeah, Marlin has dropped a fighting stance. We've got far enough. Let's drink this lemonade right here. It's very sour. Yes, it is. See, when I apprehended that girl, I didn't have this problem. Well, I guess she didn't attack me per se, but she scolded me and got real aggressive like. What are you on about? I'm not human. Clear the feathers out of your head. Would you mind being aggressive like her? Marlin catches herself getting lost in the music. Speed! Come on, get aggressive. I can take it, I swear. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words can only make me sad. Marlin is nervously consulting her royal guard guard book. Come on, get aggressive! I can dig it, I swear! Six and souls may break my bones! Okay, fine, we'll do an act. Uh, let's do a rush. Come on, get aggressive! Alright, fine, I'm gonna insult her then. You call Marlin a weenie. Oh! Oh, that was adorable! I don't even feel insulted! I feel like I've been honored! You put so much work into that! You aren't making this easy here! Here we go! Protocol and all that for the Royal Guard! Ah, uh, the, the weird jibble carousel. Round and round we go! Oh, took that one straight to the face. Okay, good. And come down here. Oh, we took one and we're dead. Whew. How far are you in the game, Yinsen? Uh, if I had beaten it before, I would definitely tell you, but I don't actually know. Undertale Yellow is a fan game. It's a fan game made by a fan of the popular game Undertale. Gotta use a smart move and change tab so I don't have to see chat. Uh, you play as the Justice Soul Human. Won't spoil the name. Well, we've already seen the name. We've already seen the name as Clover. A bunch of different times, actually. One of the attacks you died to was basically Jivel's attack. Yep. Yep, it was. That was the carousel attack. We've beaten Jivel a bunch of different times. At the last part of Snowden. Okay. Uh, we're trying to riz her. We're trying to riz her really, really well, but it's not actually doing any good for us. Okay, good. Please attack me. Please. Please just attack me. Woo! 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 Ah, damn it. Okay, I'm starting to see a little bit of the nuances of this game that also is shared with Undertale that I found really frustrating. And that's the hitboxes. The hitboxes aren't actually mesh hitboxes. They're just kind of like square and they're big enough to cover the entire um, bullet that's coming at you. Okay, I'm going to spare her again. Whee! We want to go under this. And then we want to, we can't slip under that one. Got to slip under here. Great. Slip through that. Or we can take that screwdriver right to the face. Damn it. Okay, let's go ahead and just use some lemonade. Done. We recovered 7 HP. We are. This one's a, a freebie. Slip that. Slip that. Slip that. Good. Slip that, of course. Slip that. And slip that. And we'll slip this one. And we'll slip that. Done. Okay, good. We're not going to eat any more candy. Oh, piss off. Okay, we have to use our little technique here where we just kind of like circle the arena, right? Good. Whoa. And I hide down there really quickly. Excellent. Done. All right, let's go ahead and spare her again. Ooh, this is a real workout. Keep it up, Marlin. This one is... Okay, I was about to say it's not so bad, but we just took a tiny little sliver of damage there. Okay, now we have to use some candy, I'd say. You eat the candy corn. You now know why it was discarded. Pick up a 9 HP. Perfect. All right, this is kind of a bit of a bollock sequence because the things, they bounce around, which forces you to get hit by something else. All right, good. Um, hold on, I'm checking this one more time. You can't be right, you're not fighting back. I don't want to hurt you, you're all cute and stuff. Go on and have your turn. I'm going to check that handbook again. Okay, we'll go ahead and eat something else. Maybe this hot pop. You eat the hot chocolate hot pop. It is the distinct flavor of something that was once hot. We got 14 HP. Nice. Okay, good. So if she's going to tell us to be more aggressive, we'll insult her, which she finds cute. Excellent. And now we're adding new area. The carousel. Round and round we go. Okay, good. And up they go. And down they go. 
Whoops, we took one right at the end there. Everything smells like bird seed. Okay, that's not news to me. I'm gonna insult her again. You forcibly tell Martlet that you don't like her clothes. That's more like it. What kind of royal guard wears rags like these, right? It's not like I stayed up all night sewing them or anything. <laughs> oh, right, it's my turn. All right, good, this one's a, a freebie. Oops, sorry, I had to take my thumb off of the controller for just a split second. All right, good, done. Excellent, a gust of wind blows a little blue feather in your face. I'm gonna use another item if we have any. We don't actually have any, unfortunately. What is this patch? An ice patch? Okay, we don't have any more healing items. Let's just go ahead and insult her. We can almost mercy her. Let's go ahead and insult her once more. You insult Martin's job performance. I have to say, you're not wrong about that one. I've kind of been on probation for a while. One more misstep and I can say goodbye to royal guarddom. All the nice perks that come with it. My cozy uniforms. My royal guard discount at the movies. My nice insurance rates. When they find out how much I hesitated here, I'm doomed. I mean, they specifically said don't hesitate. I got it. What did that do? If the royal guard doesn't know you're here, they won't know I broke the protocol. Instead, we'll just get you home before any of them see you. You'll be home in time for dinner. I mean, maybe not today's dinner, but for sure a dinner. Anyway, we'll bypass the royal guard and plead your case to Asgore. There's no way he can say no to a cute little face like yours. Maybe up ahead and I'll show you my plan to get you home. Fine, I'll do that. Woo. I like to think that Marla does not even like Pepperus in the slightest, even though she is. Yeah, she's just less obnoxious, right? Okay. Uh, child file? Ugh. Marla, be like wings tools, I can throw anything. <laughs> yeah, she is just like that, isn't she? Have you ever played Friday Night Funkin'? No, but several people have constantly recommended it to me, and I know from just looking at the gameplay that it's not a game I would ever play on my channel whatsoever. It's not a game that I'd enjoy. It's